I stay on the west side. I'm a country boy. I love I love being by the beach. It's a minute walk away from my house. This country is really laid back and chill. One summer, every day we went to the beach. Every day, waves or no waves. We took our boogie board, we took our fins, and we walked to the beach no matter what. Oh, you like it? I mean, you can't go wrong every, everywhere you look when you're driving on this road. There's always beach. You know, it's like, how can you have a miserable day? Yeah, I love this city. <laughs> it's great. You want to rep it hard, you know? You got guys like BJ Penn, you know, that repped it hard for us and set the goal, you know, set the bar. And all of us Hawaii fighters that's in the UFC right now, we want to get to that bar, beat it, you know? Hawaiians are very peaceful people, very prideful, but also very peaceful. And I like to show people the, the spirit of aloha and, you know, welcome to Hawaii. This is why we're peaceful. This is why we live like this. You're a student before you're an athlete. So you always focus on your academics. That's yeah. like the biggest thing. And you always, you excel. And you can be, if you're having good academics, you can excel in a lot of I careers. So. If I had to choose my life and redo my life again, I wouldn't want to grow up any place else but this city, why not Hawaii, you know? This is the city that made me to the person that I am today. We both from the west side, we both from Waianae, we both, Yanzi came to this elementary. We yeah, both, get I, out of I here. Can't. No, no, no. I'm from Waianae. I really do try and be a, a good role model to my community and show them that, you know, martial arts isn't about beating people up, it's about a way of life and how you live. And I just want to show the kids and show the people a peaceful path. We can hit our goals, you know, no matter how big the goals is. We can hit it as long as we just keep pushing and, don't and, and, and don't never ever give up. When it's all said and done, I want to be known as one of the greatest MMA fighters ever lived. But then what would really make my day is I get a kid come up to my doorstep. You know, Mr. Holloway, I was in your class when you talked to us, and now I'm successful, you know, down the road. And I'd, I'd break down in tears, you know. That's what it is, you know, changing one person's life at a time. Ha, one, two, three. <laughs> That's the question all the time, being in Hawaii, training full time in Hawaii. Is there enough talent here? And the answer is yes. We got a great group of guys here. All the UFC fighters are here, Russell Don, Louis Smoker, Max. So we all help each other and utilize each other. Me and Yancy, we train together a lot here. He's a joker, man, you know? I, you gotta have guys like that, you know, having fun and play around, because training can get too serious sometimes. He's a great dude, and I, I love the guy. Me and Max have a great relationship. Me and him are like brothers here. Yeah! There's fighting in the Hawaii culture. No, this is in my blood. We're very loving and giving people, but we also fought for what we believed in. I'm born a warrior, you know what I mean? This is what we do. This is my, we're modern day Hawaiians. You just want the Hawaii to come behind you and just be proud of something again, you know? They're, they're waiting for the next big thing. If we can try and be that, that guy of like, you know, get the whole support behind you like how a BJ Penn did, you know, then that, that'd be great. One, two, three, 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 three.